Cursed to Golf by Chuhei Labs and published by Thunderful is a wonderful little roguelike delight that I recently discovered through my subscription to PlayStation Plus, and I felt compelled to share the news that it's a pretty cool game that's definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of retro aesthetics and skill-based gameplay. As the title suggests, the good old Scottish sport of golf takes centre stage here as you take the role of a champion who's just about to finish the 18th hole of a big tournament when suddenly they're struck by lightning and sent to purgatory. It's a tale as old as time, really. It's while in this newly found limbo that they meet a ghostly Scotsman who just loves building and playing golf courses and they inform you that if you can beat their 18 holes then you'll be sent back up to the land of the living to carry on with your glorious career. This is where the roguelike features come into play as every time you play the game you will be faced with a different procedurally generated 18 hole course and it's game over if you fail to manage at least a par on any given hole. It all takes place in a 2D space with various otherworldly traps and gadgets standing in your way as you choose between three different types of club to achieve different angles to progress through the labyrinth. And then it's all about your button timing to make sure you get where you want to go. You also have a plethora of cards at your disposal which can act as perks for your playthrough, power-ups to be deployed to help your score, or even as lifesavers to help you avoid some of that treacherous scenery. It's a simple game to pick up and play, and after a few tries you should find yourself breezing through the first few holes of each run no problem. But of course, as always with these games, the difficulty really ramps up the further you get. And there are even boss fights where you take part in some match play, taking turns against the AI to get to the hole first. I have always been a big sports fan and a fan of sports games as well, so I suppose the fact that this is ultimately based on a sport can add to my enjoyment at least a little bit, because I have also enjoyed far more traditional golf games in the past through the years, and it's nice to now experience something totally different. But honestly, if you just enjoy skill-based games with puzzle elements, then don't let the golf aspect of it put you off at all. It's just ultimately a good game, and in some ways it's even a bit like a precision-based platformer, just with a different control scheme, and also you're the ball. Does that make sense? Even if it does seem really hard at first, I'm pretty sure that you will find yourself improving with each run just naturally as you go, if you just give it a chance, and I do implore you to do so. Curse to Golf is available on PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, and PC with a standard price of $16.99, but if you have PlayStation Plus Premium, then at the moment you can play it yourself as part of that. Give it a try.